Someone asked me the question the other day. I said, what is love? Is love being given a product that can get you five years in prison? That's an analogy from love. It's not an emotion. It's a commitment. It weren't until 2008 that I realised that there is no love on the road. What is the meaning of love, right? So I grew up believing that all my elders loved me, all my friends loved me, and everybody I worked with loved me. And I believed everything they'd done for me was love. Everything they went out of their way for was because they loved me. And then I fast forward, fast forwarded 30 years. And I, someone asked me the question the other day. I said, what is love? I said, well, well, love's a commitment. Love's a benchmark on how to protect. Love is a accountability and a responsibility to take care and look after others. Love is to share equally without prejudice or power, without queen or colour. You know, love is to grow, develop and achieve as a unit, as one. You know, so what is love? Is love being given a product that can get you five years in prison? Is love getting you, giving you a product that can get you stabbed, killed or shot? Is love someone beating you with a weapon or plunging your body with a weapon when you owe them money or when you make a mistake? Is that love? What is love? So these are things I've asked myself over the few years of my existence. And it weren't until 2008 that I realised that there is no love on the road. People use this word frequently and sort of uh, frivolently in a way of endearment, as if it just, it's like the word and or the. People use it in that same content. When the word love actually means something, and it's not an emotion, it's a commitment to be, do and achieve all you can, not just for yourself, but for the perpetuation of our species. That is love. Love is to perpetuate our species the best way we can and help our species develop and grow and become the best versions of us we can be. That is love without materialism. What is love without materialism? Love is what I say. I believe love is. I had a conversation with a, a very deep-rooted spiritualist, guru, Osho lifestyle sort of uh, student. And um, we was having a conversation, it was getting a little bit confusing for me because I understand the rules of enlightenment understand accountability, I understand reality. So like I've just said, what is love? So I had this conversation with this really spiritual connected person and I asked her a question if she believed if love was an emotion or a commitment and she said it was an emotion instantly. And I was like, wow, I'm quite surprised being so spiritual that you'd say that. She said, why would you say that? I said, well, because I think you're confused. So I want to give you this analogy. If you was a wild, crazy lioness in the wild and you've got four cubs and the four cubs are born healthy, you nurse them back to the teat, you put them on, they feed well. The very next day after they're born, would you say you love them? Yes, you would. Now, being a lion, you'd have to go out hunting. So you'd have to go out and kill for them cubs. You'd be prepared to die for them cubs. You'd be prepared to go hungry for them cubs. She said, yeah. I said, well, what would you actually do if one of your cubs had three legs or 
disabled arm or paw. She's like, I'd nurture it. And I say, you wouldn't. In the wild, you'd eat it. Because that is love in the animal kingdom. To help perpetuate the species, they'd have to eat the weaker one or it would cause a problem to the rest of the clan or the rest of the brood or pride or family because it's vulnerable, it's weak, it can't protect itself, it can't walk. It's going to slow everybody down. It's going to make us all victims. So they have to do the best thing for the family. So they eat it. If they're not born well or they're born unhealthy or disfigured, then they get eaten. That's what all animals do to their young because that's love, you know? That's an analogy from love about love and lust. So love, lust is the emotion that we have when we want to perpetuate by sexual gratification. Love is a commitment, what you're prepared to live through, fight through, and sort of overcome.